Shazam! Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Underdevelop here, and today we have another review for you guys for the movie Drive Away Dolls, directed by Ethan Cohen, one half of the Cohen brothers. Drive Away Dolls is the story of two disastrous lesbians trying to start a new life for themselves in Tallahassee. They drive all the way down after the one of the mean ones, the one play, uh, Jamie, played by Margaret Qualley. She de she is broken up with by her girlfriend for being too promiscuous, I guess. So they, and so she joins Geraldine, eh, Dean's character Marion, who has she has got to be autistic or something because she is just like so socially inept. Yeah. And they make for a really fun duo because, but because Jamie is all like super hypersexual and it makes an interesting contrast. But they all yeah. go down. They steal. They they steal a rental car, or <laughs> and apparently inside this rental car is a uh, is special uh, confiscated materials <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> Knows <laughs> that a lot of serious people are in people are looking for, and they end up beating up uh, up people over it. They end up like sending in these goons to try and capture them as they just follow them around. Which most of the time, they don't e half the movie they don't even know they're being followed around by these random goons. But when they eventually do notice the secret compartment in the back after they're flat, they get a flat tire, they see oh, we have a. Uh, we have some serious shit here. We have Pedro Pascal's head and a bunch of random dildos. Yep. Seemingly random dildos. Yeah, seemingly say. random, but it's tied into the main plot. It actually is. It's, it's valuable dildos. <laughs> yes. Very valuable. But then eventually they get kidnapped by Coleman Domingo, who explains that this... That the, that these dildos belong to like a senator and other really important people. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it cannot meet the public eye. No, cannot get there. It these just, cannot be sold. I used to believe in a free market. <laughs> That's what, that's what Matt Damon says later. Yeah, this it, it just breaks him emotionally. <laughs> this whole movie is just chaotic fun, especially yeah. when Matt Damon comes in later. After yeah. They try to ransom the dildos to him. <laughs> yeah, for a million dollars. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even say what happens in the movie without just fucking laughing. It is just so absurd. <laughs> but... Well, that's basically the movie. A very absurd, really fun trip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Also, in, um, between all that, I forgot. There's a there, there, uh, the main characters kind of have a l romance that, that goes along. I don't think it. I think the romance is kind of is a little weaker than it should be, but it's there. It's not done terribly. No, I like the romance. I actually think there. You know, what I mean, it was actually, you know, what I mean, actually good romance. It shows that you don't have to be just a man or woman to, yeah. to do an effective love story. Oh, and I've seen Gay Love Story too. Like, I, like one of her relationships from like uh, on TV is like the Star Trek one between um, got the names, but like one of the uh, well, main, it's, the sign one of the science officers. With yeah, Anthony Rapp's character. Anthony, Anthony Rapp and Wilson Cruz's characters. I, I remember the actor names more better than the character names for them. Anthony Rapp related to Renee Rapp. No, they're not. I okay. googled that. No, they're not. Okay, Anthony Rapp. That's the white boy, right? Yes, he's uh, from Rent. Rent. Yes, yes. <laughs> it makes sense because he this gives off broy vibes. In yes, general, which I'm glad he's doing it. Uh, and um, and also uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Wilson Cruz is the actor's name. Wilson. I do not remember his character's name at all. To be honest. What made you want to search the oh, name? Oh, oh, now I remember. Their, their character's names are. Colbert and Stamets, that's her name. Okay. Fucking awful ass name. Yeah, whatever, yeah. Like, so, like, yeah, yeah, so, like, I think those, so, like, I'm definitely down for, like, as long as I could feel the love here. Shit, when I watched Mean Girls, I was champion for fucking, um, Renee Rapp and fucking, um, the main character. Yeah. Because I, I, <laughs> I literally felt sexual heat coming from the white. They really <laughs> was. <laughs> it's what, yeah, I mean. More so than the fucking guy she's <laughs> glossing over. Oh, yeah. Honestly. <laughs> just, it's like, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's so passionate. It's, it is, oh, he's a hot guy. That's such a 2000 way to think. He's a hot right. guy and I want him because it's a rom com. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I need to end up with the, with the hot, desirable guy. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of being the one you actually have chemistry with. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they actually yeah. have chemistry. You know what I mean? It's like, like in this movie. These characters have good chemistry. They have together. chemistry. They're very different from each other. One is, as Nick said, hypersexual, a, ver a freak. You know what I mean? <laughs> very free will, very liberated, especially for early, early 2000s. Very liberated with, and open with the sexuality. Yeah, very free Always spirit. Always going into uh, lesbian bars, really open about it. Mm -hmm. And Geraldine, you think she would be disgusted by it, 
But she isn't. You know, I mean, she actually no. admires her for being her true self and yeah. and being bold like that. She's just really shy, <laughs> and that's how I know that she's in love with her because a person like her would never hang with somebody like that unless you know, what I mean, there's yeah. some feelings involved. You know, what I mean, and I like that. I felt. I mean, they should have said I love you in the movie, but they didn't. You know, what yeah. I mean? I actually, went in more. That's my big problem with the romance. I feel like it could have gone a lot yeah. further with it. Yeah, because yeah, they could have done more. Yeah, it was there. That's you know it. What I, mean? I I just felt it kind of did it. It kind of got a hint of where they were going with it, like yes. the whole marriage thing. But then it never really went anywhere. I mean, yeah. not anywhere, but it didn't really get into it. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted yeah. to feel that romantic. I wanted to see the romance really flesh out. Yeah. And, and we have, I love you and all the emotion that comes And we it. have some scenes that, that lead up to it. But again, I was expect, I was kind of expecting more out of that. Yeah, I, I did. wanted to see more. Yeah. Because it was, because what we did see was good. Yeah. But this movie, I mean, he, it kind of gives you that Fargo vibe mixed with maybe, um, I gave you the. I, I like gave Pulp the, Fiction. Pulp Fiction, that's the one yeah. I gave you. It kind of reminds you of that. But a lot more sillier. Well, yeah. I mean, with all being said, like this very much has the very uh, Cohen's brother style dialogue that you're used to seeing in yeah. most of their movies. Absolutely. Where everyone's kind of a weirdo. Uh, there's always at least one gator that talks really, really fast. And also one that's like <laughs> either from the west or the south. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then there's one, at least one character who's just a fucking psychopath at the very yes. minimum. At least one. Yes. There's always at least one in the yes. Cohen brothers movie. Even when they're single Owens yeah, instead of kind the of brothers. Kind of, kind of, kind of, people, different storylines kind of converging because cause the two guys that were sent to sent to um, find the missing contraband mm-hmm. from the two main characters, they kind of ha- they kind of mirror each them the main two main girls too. Cause they both they do. very different. One is like a more old timey toxic masculinity kind of dude, always have to show physicality. Another one is like, no, I actually want to talk and connect, and that's a more effective yeah. way. And <laughs> that, lead, that, that leads him to blows. And it turns out that he does have some struggle with masculinity because it turns out he is kind of gay. Mm-hmm. And you know, the whole scene where the dog was licking his ass or pegging him, and he's into it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? And he ended up murdering fucking the other dude. Yeah. <laughs> because he's, I guess he just couldn't handle it. But then <laughs> that just that happens, and that's kind of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he kind of runs away. I guess he probably don't need more context. Is this, this movie is unhinged and it insane is. and funny and. I kind of like it. I kind of love it for it. You know what I, I mean? I do too. I kind of love it for it. Go with it. Commit. You know what I yeah. mean? And they did. <laughs> it just goes and it just ends abruptly. The main conflict ends abruptly and everything conveniently works out for him. But it's done so silly and so over the top. To, I, 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 okay, sure. Yeah, I'm fuck like, it. fuck it. Because it's not meant to take seriously. This no. Is, this, dude, the main fucking, we thought seriously. it was some real important shit. It's just fucking dildos. That's the only thing was in the case. So a dildo. <laughs> Like imagine what does having a dildo matter? You can't even trace it back to you. <laughs> yeah, like honestly, you can make any movie <laughs> ten times more funny by doing that. Well, imagine if the briefcase in Pulp Fiction was just dildos inside. If that was what was real <laughs> to be inside, hilarious. that would make that movie so much funnier, but also so much harder to take seriously. <laughs> it's the <laughs> and Matt Damon. How could you not laugh? I'm saying that like, that's how you is so that's serious. how you, that's how we know Matt Damon is a top tier actor. He's not the actor, he but, act as Matt, no. but he wasn't top tier in Oppenheimer. No, but what I'm saying is, if he wasn't a top, if he didn't have the skill, yeah. he would have just been laughing his oh, ass yeah. off. He's a very talented uh, actor. A lesser actor would have. I would have. <laughs> Even recounting this now, it's hard not to laugh a little. Yeah, it was hilarious. He took it so seriously. Like, I used to believe. I the used free to market. believe in the free market. Like, like what? Like it's not that deep, family. <laughs> These are all good men. They weren't all. They're not. All, they're not all important like me, but they don't deserve this. <laughs> so over and, dramatic. And then, like, after you get the money, like, you fucking just... He immediately tries to kill them. Yeah, immediately. He tries to kill them. Like, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> God. Not that deep, family. No. This movie is fucking <laughs> like, nuts. Like, having to deal with yourself is the worst. But, like, all these guys are hung. So it's like... Yeah. All I'm these like, guys are packing well. You know? Yeah, but, again... He's a Republican senator from 1999. That would not have been good luck that he did anything of the sort. But the thing is, you can't trace back a dildo. You know what I mean? True. Like, it's kind of the thing where, I'm like, if someone says, oh, I know that. That's Senator Matt Damon's dildo. I'm like, how do you know that's his? Exactly. How do you know? I want to know the story. How do you know? Did you see it in person? In that case, but- you already know this <clears throat> shit. You know all the crap he used to do as a kid. <laughs> But yeah, man, you know. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't a movie you're supposed to take seriously. So that being said, just go into this with like the mindset of, I just want something dumb, exciting, chaotic, and fun, and you'll have a great time with this yeah. movie. I'll give this movie a uh, seventy-nine. I was thinking eighty. That's my score. I was eighty-two, but I'm like there are legit things I had problems with, mm-hmm. like the fleshing out of the relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's sort all the plot points could have fleshed out a little more. So for that, definitely. You know what I mean? Details, you know, so like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dock it a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
You know, but it is a good time. It is funny. Yeah. It's just a solid movie. I think it's a good time. I think you enjoy it. If you're into this, if into that kind of over the top comedy kind yeah. of thing. If a over the top, crazy ass, raunchy, lesbian, buddy, hinged, but road trip movie. If that appeals to you, like it appeals to me, then hey, you're going to enjoy this movie. Enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, go watch it. Go- <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. That being said, folks, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Go see good movies in the movie theater. Do it. Support your local theaters. And we catch you next time for more content. See you guys.